darling. Alrighty, everybody. The woods can be we very are dangerous. back on oh. episode two of South Park. I upgraded a little bit here, so hopefully we'll get this through to YouTube. You'll figure out by whatever you watch it on. But yeah, so we're starting with Volcano, the second episode. That's right, Stanley. Animals are much easier to shoot in the morning. Here, hon. I packed you some cheesy poofs and happy tarts. Don't worry, Miss Carbon. We'll take good care of them. I brought my old war buddy, Dad, to keep things safe. Hello, Mrs. Cartman. How are you today? Be sure to use lots of And I think, like, as a kid, like, Ned always poo -poo, struck me because um, it was, like, around that time in school that we, like, heard about people that were, like, in the D.A.R.E. program, like, don't smoke too many cigarettes or it'll end up like that person. Remember, so I think I admired, like, the realism because obviously cartoons for kids at the time didn't have anything like that. your mommy a kissy. Since this is your first time, first of all, don't ever walk with your gun unless the safety's on. Second, don't shoot anything that looks human. And third, never spill your beer in the bullet chamber. Uh, don't Uncle Jimbo, your beer. we don't drink beer. You what? You what? Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't think eight-year-old kids drink beer. I like chocolate milk. I like well, chocolate milk. we'll be doing plenty of drinking on this trip. After all, hunting sober is like... Fishing. fishing. Sober. Sober. And each of you youngins take a gun, a beer, and some smokes. Hey, I didn't get a gun. Sweet. This is like the gun I used in Nam. You were in Vietnam, Cartman. Were you stationed in Da Nang? Cartman always makes And I think some people would see this and be says. like, ah ha ha, isn't I'm it funny that kids have beers and guns? Hey, but like, out, son, where I grew up, like, this is just a regular, like, we're gonna go hunting. Here's a beer, here's a gun. You wanna go? Like, I, I can guarantee you there's someone I went Jimbo to high school with that had this scenario growing up, probably. Wow, there's a Rocky Mountain black bear. One of the few remaining of its kind. Isn't it beautiful? My God, it's coming right for us! <laughs> the main part of this episode was that... I'm not going to get the news report right, but Trey and Matt heard of a news report of guys that were in the Colorado Rockies, and they shot a mama bear and her cubs, and obviously this was in, like, 1997 or whatever, but they shot a mama bear and their cubs, and his point was that they were coming right for us, but they were all the way up in a tree, and then the hunter was, like, all the way over there. So, were they coming right for them? Is this hunting? I guess so. And Stan right is, it's like, the bleeding right heart of the group. This is, like, the first episode where he's, Shoot like, it, Stan. I got your very back, animal protectory. I feel like there's at I least can. two or three. What the? What's wrong with you? I don't want to shoot the bunny. What the hell are you talking about? You don't want to shoot the bunny. You're babbling. You're not making any sense. You're hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I just don't want to shoot the bunny. No doubt your mind is going to be a tree hugger. Yeah, hippie. Go back to Woodstock if you can't shoot anything. I can shoot you, fat ass. I can shoot you too. I'll kill you. I'll fill you full of lead. And then literally just like two kids just like cocking guns hey, and like holding that? them at each other. <laughs> And then the first appearance of Randy, who is inspired by Trey Parker's real life dad, but has slowly morphed into the amalgamation he is today. He what even looks very this? different in his first appearance here. I think it's yeah, his Frank, eyebrows. It's uh, Randy. It's like his uh -huh. face shape and his eyebrows Good. is like different. Yeah, listen, the uh, the little needle is moving. The little needle's moving. Yeah, it's going back and forth really but fast. But his um, real life father is an uh -huh. actual geologist, and uh -huh. for a while in yeah, the check. show, Randy is actually a geologist. Yeah. It's when you watch South Park as much as me, like the lore is important because that's just like me. It's like watching back these episodes. Like there's one coming up where two of the dads like fight yeah, over them fit. knowing each other in high school, and like I don't know, like that's burn. lore. It's well, like Dad, this is like my we'll young and fire. But you see, Mr. Mayor, you can't stop serving Salisbury Mr. steak Le in Mayor. our public schools. What's you next? Can't stop Salisbury steak. We are quite aware of your concerns, Chef, but Mayor, the geologist is here to see you. My geologist? Now? Tell him the infection is fine and I don't need another checkup. No, Mayor, that's a gynecologist. A geologist studies the Earth. Don't you think I know that? How dare you insult my intellect? I went to Princeton for God's sake. I don't think I've talked sake. about Mary Kay office. Bergman I'm not in your any office, yet. Mayor. I'm talking to you she through a speaker. She was the main voice actress for all the women for... I want to say the first two seasons. That's also on the probably get my facts right before I do this, but this is my show. But, um, 
Yeah, I really, really admire her voice, and I feel like who I hear in my head is the female voice actors is Mary Kay. And I still love April Stewart and the other women that do all the voices now, but that was also the thing. They had to hire like three or four separate women just to replace Mary Kay because she could do so many different voices so well. And unfortunately, she took her life while they were still filming South Park, and it was like a huge shock to everyone, of course. And her being on South Park is the littlest part of that, because she was a real person, you know, and felt sad enough to take her own life. That's horrible. But, yeah, it's just, it's sad that it happened, but, you know, at least in a way we still get to enjoy her craft with this. And, I don't know, I'm still very inspired by her. Like, I... I think it's because, like, when I think of being able to do a bunch of different voices, I think of men, right? So I feel like, honestly, like, Mary Kay, besides, like, um, so Tara Strong is another one, but I don't know. I really admire women who can also, like, do it as good as the guys. Ever heard of Scuzzlebutt? Waddlebutt? Scuzzlebutt is a creature that lives up on this very mountain and likes to add pieces to its deformed body. shadows, like, under his deformed eyes. Deformed how? Like, well... Very on his clear. left arm, Those instead of a hand, he has animation. a hook, a knife. And where his legs should be, there's nothing but Patrick Duffy. And this is their first computer Daddy, animated episode. Because the last one they did have completely was just construction, step? paper, stop motion. So with the exception of some of the epics. But this was they like their first completely just doing it on computers. Basket. And because of that, they had a hard time getting the textures <laughs> right. And I do agree. I think you do Harvey, need you the scary construction yeah, paper textures to be able to really like... For it to look right, because like I like things it's like it is Maybe just like this little construction papery hey, like. It might be. Gosh, I, I don't hope know. He cut me with his I just feel hand. like it makes it look more like a little kids art project of like hey, Dad, them telling their watch story. About the old catcher, cause it... oh, Lord, I'm trying to make a um Adam. So I got this little. I got his dress. Stan. His leggies. Stan, wake up! What, dude? And I don't know where Cartman is. I think something took him arms. away. Where's my uncle Jimbo and Ned? They're out fishing with Kenny. With I'm Kenny on his little but, hat. But this is supposed to be my. What a beautiful morning for fishing. There's and I remember a, la- relating to this right too as a kid because like Jimbo and Ned are showing more attention to Kenny because Got he's it. cooler. You know, he's uh, able to like you know Great shoot the boy. animals and Uncle drink Jimbo, the beer even though he's like you know in the way that they oh, want, whereas Stan's not. Yeah. And they're ah, like hell. you know Stan's dealing with like the it. hurt of Dad, being like oh like I want my uncle and his friend to like spend time with me and think I'm cool, but they just think Kenny's cool because he does the stuff well, that I don't want to do. I think that's about you know? the thing I've ever seen a kid as cool as you, Kenny. I'm making you my honorary nephew. My honorary nephew. The peeping In addition to Mary me. Kay doing all the female hey, voices TV, besides I'm Chef, at this what point, Matt and Trey are the only ones that do any of the male voices, and to right this day, like, with the exception of a few voices, like, Matt and Trey do the majority and, of sorry, the voices, and Trey huh? still writes every episode, this, so, right? I mean, Ready? I just Three, admire that they've two, stuck one. with it, and it's been, like, their oh, baby right for so long, they've never wanted someone else to take it on, and I think that shows how much passion they have for it. Let's go get those kids! Come on, everybody, you gotta help the children! And I like that the mayor's always, like, really manipulative. Like, she acts Kelly, like she, like, far. cares, but That's only in the extent that, There's like, it helps her. Which I feel like is, like, a lot of politicians. Yeah. yeah. I am Scuzzlebutt. I am Behold my Patrick Duffy leg. Mm, what is it? Dude, it's Scuzzlebutt. Carbon wasn't lying. Kenny, you take the front. No, I can do it, Uncle Jimbo. I want to bag that animal. That's the spirit, kiddo. Let's hunt. You guys, you guys are just kidding. I used to try As and some use, people like, of South Park try desperately to, to like, save their mountain town, others try look and, for the like, missing townspeople. But all must take every precaution my place, necessary. But they just okay, break every people, time I use them. Up. And then I saw someone use bobby pins. So that's the what mountain, I use the now. And they just stay. Here we see the Stevens family enjoy Sunday picnic. But suddenly, Dada hears a noise. It's a volcano. Junior seems worried. But have no fear, Junior. Jane learned in school what to do when you hear a volcano erupt. That's right, Jane. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. 
Yeah, I saw the duck and cover video so what in will school. You when, you hear of a duck when he turned the lights cover. back on in the classroom like to, like, joke on him, like, duck we all, like, screamed and, and, like, went under Thank our you. desk like, after we watched the film. But yeah, okay, when um, Alistair came out and his whole transatlantic accent, accent you know, That's from Has Been Hotel, you. like, I still just always think of, like, Trey Parker and his son. No, that's bastard. right, guy. Just duck hey, and cover. Sam, shoot me! What the Sam hell? I was just trying to scare you guys. You can put the gun down now. Mm, so much for the cover of guns and ammo. Yep, her. But I think we've learned some important lessons, Ned. I think. Th oh. Whoa! There's a volcano. Mm, holy crap! The mountain—it's blown its top. Oh no! Oh my Second, God. Kenny does. Even though my shit's up, there we go. Oh, he's good. All right. No, no. Oh, second Kenny does. Look, the volcano! Quick, duck and cover! Duck and cover, everybody. Oh, oh, it didn't work. And I think it's interesting, especially, like, with some of these episodes. Like, I think they've swore, and I think there's been, like, obviously, like, some people might not want their kids to be, like, holding guns and drinking beer, but, like, I definitely think this is one of the episodes that's not, like, so bad. Like, I don't know if I've seen anything that, like, offends me to the core. Hi kids, I'm TV's I mean, I'm Patrick a fit by that right there. I mean, quick, Dad, shoot it! Mm, oh no, out of ammo. Uh, what? Yeah, Scuzzlebutt is interesting. I like that um, I have like the phone yeah, destroyer yeah, phone Duffy game for still, even though baskets. it's like barely working. This isn't happening. And Scuzzlebutt Everyone is one of the right cards, place. and he's pretty good. Nothing. He's weaving baskets. Whoa, he built a wicker basket. Hey, he's saving us. Ugh. Scuzzle, but saves the day. And my calculations work. The lava's following the trench into the canyon. Hmm. Where exactly does the canyon go? Uh. Timber. <laughs> yeah, I can really tell that, like, Matt and Trey, like, grew up in Colorado, and this is very much, like, a love letter. And now people can rejoice Colorado. and celebrate their jovial victory over nature. I'm getting word that get, the chef of the school cafeteria make my wants to sing a to song about this thrill. Thank you, Scuzzlebutt. Friend. Friend. Oh, how sweet. Oh, Lord. Stan. I did it! I did it! And Stan I finally, finally gets something. his courage oh my God, what up. Has and he then what does he kill? The Scuzzlebutt. Hey, that was easy. So you can't no, win for losing why, sometimes, God, Stan. Damn it, Stan. You shouldn't have done that. What? Why? Yeah, make up your mind, dude. Stan, some things you kill, and some things you don't, see? Volley of guns. The volley of guns. Gun again. <laughs> oh, there he goes. But I just wanted you to be proud of me, like you were with Kenny. But Kenny's dead now, Stan. But Kenny's and dead now, Stan. you're always going to be my nephew. And you just can't kill anything. You understand? Dude, I don't understand hunting at all. Yeah, it's stupid. Let's go watch cartoons. Yeah, cartoons kick ass. Cartoons kick ass. I'm gonna let the credits play because I think every single one of these people needs to get their shout out, even though they make more money than I do. But yeah, so that was episode two. We're still not getting into the meat and potatoes, but we'll get there, guys. See you later.